Hello everyone. So today I want to talk about a spam email. Now, a lot of you, or I guess uh, most of you, uh, or at least a lot of you have uh, their own domain. If not, you should. And uh, if you have your own domain, then uh, I think it is a good idea if you also configure emails that uh, people can send you on your own domain's email address. It looks really good and uh, it is also a bit professional and I think we all should do it. And uh, uh, talking about your own email, I mean, when you buy a, buy a domain name, you can also <clears throat> configure your domain. I mean, depending upon your uh, host or depending upon your domain provider, they might also give you an email uh, service. But usually, the email service given by these uh, hosting providers, if they are using their own uh, email server, it is probably not good enough, uh, especially if you are familiar with uh, Google or Gmail. I use Gmail, I use uh, Google Suite or Google Workspace or whatever it is called. I use it because it works. And uh, I want to, especially for my own company's website, I want to use something which is super reliable. But you can also configure your own mail server, which is pain. Uh, it is not really easy, but uh, you can do it. And uh, I've done it in the past, but uh, then I thought, you know, no, I want to make sure that at least my email is, uh, you know, I'm, I'm also willing to pay uh, the service providers for the email because email is important, uh, at least, uh, or I mean, even in 2022, it is definitely important. And I don't really see email going away. Now, one thing is that I was using, I, I'm talking about my, my, my company, Sparksys. So I was uh, using uh, this uh, website, which was hosted on web section earlier. I think it was still September or maybe I think, yeah, some, some time around September when I received a notice. In, in fact, uh, I received the notice a uh, couple of months before that uh, web faction is going to um, discontinue their service and they are going to actually migrate uh, everything to go daddy so web faction was actually acquired by godaddy and uh, they were actually supposed to they actually told me that they will do the migration but they didn't <laughs> which is a bit sad and uh, right now the web faction site is not even uh, running which is uh, definitely um, I mean, it's not really, not really a problem because you know they are anyways uh, they are anyways you know not really doing any work, and uh, they didn't migrate the, the 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 sites that I was hosting with them. But what I did, I basically moved my site from from web section to uh, VPS Dime, and VPS Dime is actually one hosting provider, a cheap hosting provider that I have been using for a long time in fact and I, i'm using their basic plan where they have this uh, four not four but uh, uh, basically they will give you 6 gb of ram for uh, only seven dollar i mean to be honest to be honest it is actually quite quite cheap and uh, it is uh, i mean if you compare it with the other hosting providers i'm not really sure if you can find something which is uh, cheaper than this but at least you now you're getting a lot of ram which is actually important for me i initially bought this server from them long back many years ago for hosting my jira instance because jira usually consumes a lot of uh, ram but now i just uh, use uh, it to uh, host my websites so i moved my site sparksys.com to uh, this server now when i moved the site i forgot to do a couple of things things like uh, um, because I was using G Suite or G Google Mail for uh, my company's uh, email address for my company's email addresses, and I was using the legacy account uh, where uh, I have uh, ten free emails, which is a great thing, by the way. But the thing is that when you change your host or whenever you configure Google or any host or or or, or any mail server, you have to basically configure mainly two things. In my uh, based on my experience, that you have to configure S SPF. And uh, you also have to configure uh, DMARC. So SPF is uh, Sender Policy Framework and uh, DMARC is uh, Domain-Based Message Authentication Reporting and Conformance. I don't know what it means, but you have to configure. Basically, you have to configure a couple of uh, TXT records in your domain. That is it. That is all you have to do. And if you're using Google, uh, Google Mail or Gmail, you will get the information about what needs to be configured. I actually wrote one... Uh, blog today and 
first of all, if you're not sure what you need to configure, what what records you need to configure, I highly recommend you to go to this site called uh, mail tester.com and uh, by the way i wrote one blog about it so what you need to do if you configure this uh, thing if you configure this uh, service uh, you can actually send an email to this uh, address so let me just copy this and let me open uh, let me just send an email from my other tab so that uh, you know you can not see the i mean this email address is i, I guess a temporary email address they will probably uh, get rid of it but uh, i'm just you not know, trying to show you how it works so basically if you send an email to this address and then if you click on this button it will give you some suggestions based on uh, what you can possibly do uh, if you are uh, maybe trying to uh, configure uh, these spf records or anything else i mean there are so many things that you might need to do but uh, you basically need to con to, to make sure that uh, you are using uh, the right txt records so i'll for, for this example, I'll probably use uh, one of my other domain and uh, I'll uh, send an email to this uh, particular uh, address and I'm just trying to log into one of my uh, one of my other account, which is uh, Ravi at uh, ravisaga.in and uh, let me just uh, send an email and uh, let me just click on this very quickly and uh, what i'll do is uh, i will now show you how it will work so i'm just trying, you know, trying to write the body i think i can probably show you nothing to hide here to be honest okay so let me just bring in the tab so this is the email rems so this is the email that i am trying to send to this address it is a bit i'm not really sure if you can see it but uh, let me increase the size Okay, so this is the, uh, you know, email address, uh, or this is the, you know, actual email body. And uh, once you do this, once you click on the send, what you can do is you can then uh, click on the, then check your score. And it will do some, you know, it will check your, it, it will check the inbox and it will basically try to identify some uh, things that can be configured to improve whether uh, your, your mail uh, needs any, uh, come on so basically it is uh, not a free service i guess i just used more than three today which is uh, fine but i can show you i do have a screenshot so let me show you what uh, uh, this will tell you so basically if you do this you will get a score like this and uh, i think three is enough I, th I think i don't really think you need to do it uh, like more than three times in a day but if you look at uh, this particular uh, um, output or the report so my score was nine out of ten and it will give you some recommendation and the recommendations were basically to set up spf record and txt record based on uh, uh, what service you are using if you're using google then it will ask you to add uh, this txt record where you need to use uh, this at the rate in the name part for the txt record and for the value you have to use this string and uh, you can also find this information if you go to your own um, mail server I mean, I guess you should be able to. I, I, the, the main idea here is to identify this part, I guess, underscore SPF dot Google dot com, uh, which is, of course, for G Suite. And similarly, you have to configure a, a similar TXT record for DM ARC record. And you have to use this string with the, the um, domain, with, with the name in the TXT. I mean, the, the, the value that you have to enter is this, but the name is the DM ARC. And that is it. So once you do this, and uh, when you when you test when you test again you will probably notice 9 out of 10 or whatever number i mean it, it could be 10 out of 10 for me uh, for some reason my email address was uh, or at least the domain was in the blacklist which is a bit weird but i never i never listen any emails to anyone and forget about spam so but the thing is that you can actually i mean i mean if you're not familiar with these things you can actually find out very easily if you want and i thought i'll probably share this with all of you today because this can be definitely uh, super useful in case you want to uh, make sure that your mail is not really going to the spam because it is a bit annoying and it has happened in the past i sent an email to someone and the email was actually in the spam and uh, they never they never really received my email and it should not happen <laughs> hopefully it, sh it will never happen to you but uh, it can happen and uh, this is a way to 
to improve it and that is all that is all i wanted to talk about today in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much bye bye